so this is the June Knit Crate Yarn and it's called Odin Walls and it's an interlock yarn it means that it has that twist it, it's like an eye cord very interesting very nice so we're going to be making a bag and we're using the dandelion stitch and we do have a video on it so if you want to look it up it would be good I'm going to teach you the stitch anyway I'm using number eight knitting needles which is the same as five millimeter and this is some this stitch is a multiple of 16 plus 1 so I have 4 times 16 which makes it 64 plus 1 I have 65 stitches for my handbag so I bought this one at the hobby store and I am going to be covering it because I find it very easy to do that you can cover any bag that you wish so like that you don't have to deal with zippers and stuff like that so you cover this and it looks very pretty so let's get started and I did rows number one and number two already and I have them here and the only rows that you really need to pay attention to are the number three and the number seven so I did row number one knit of course I cast it on my stitches and then row number one you knit and row number two you purl row number three and this is the repetition it starts here so it's knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three and yarn over so it's one yarn over three times so now we're going to slide slide put your left hand needle in front and knit them together and you do that another time slide slide put your left hand needle in front and knit them together now we're going to make three into one we slip these two stitches knit wise knit this stitch and these two that you slid go over the last one that you knitted and now we knit two together and knit two together and now we're going to do yarn over knit one yarn over knit one yarn over knit one and this is what the repetition is so but we're going to be counting the 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 yarn overs and knit one so what this is where I knitted two together two together yarn over knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three yarn over knit four yarn over knit five and you end with a yarn over and now we're going to slide slide knit slide slide and knit knit three into one so slide those two knit that one and pass these two over knit two stitches together and knit these two stitches together so you do your yarn overs again so yarn over knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three yarn over knit four yarn over knit five and and with a yarn over slide slide and knit slide slide and knit 
and then knit three into one. So those two you slide, knit that one, and pass those two over the last one. And now knit it together. Once you do this several times, it's a piece of cake. And knit it together. So yarn over knit one, yarn over knit two, yarn over knit three, yarn over knit four, yarn over knit five, and end with the yarn over, slide, slide, knit, slide, slide, knit, three into one, so pass those two, knit one, and pass that those two over the last one and knit it together knit two together and the last stitches yarn over knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three and that is it so this was row number three row number four you purl so we have everything clearly written down, no problem. So now you're going to repeat these four rows three more times. That means it has to be four times in total. And so it's like here. So you have that. This part here is what you're going to be making. So that's once, two, three, four times and it's up to there where you're going to be making. So I will see you when I make these four times and I'll come back with the next section. So now I repeated the four rows four times. So that's one, two, three, four and it's up to there. So that's sixteen rows, four times four. So now I already did <coughs> row one and two of the second part because we need to offset it. See this is the first part and now we need to offset it and have this part here done. So let's do that. So, row number one, I mean row number uh, seven. So we're going to knit two together. And now this is where the repetition starts. Knit two together and <coughs> knit two together. Now, yarn over knit one, yarn over knit two, yarn over knit three, yarn over knit four, yarn over knit five, and yarn over. And now we slide, slide, and it. Again, slide, slide, and knit. And we go past these two stitches together. Knit that one and pass that one over. Knit together. Knit together. Yarn over knit one, yarn over knit two, yarn over knit three, yarn over knit four, yarn over knit five, and yarn over. So slide, slide, and knit. 
slide, slide and knit pass those two knit one and the two that you pass go over the last one knit two stitches together knit two stitches together yarn over knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three yarn over knit four yarn over knit five yarn over slide slide and knit slide slide and knit pass those two knit one and the two that you pass go over that last one knit two together knit two together yarn over knit one yarn over knit two yarn over knit three yarn over knit four yarn over knit five yarn over and the last six you're going to slide slide knit slide slide knit and slide slide knit and then row number eight is all pearl so actually the only two rows that you need to pay attention to is row number three and row number seven so i'm going to repeat these four rows three more times so i can have four in total and i will see you when i do that because i'm going to be repeating those uh, eight rows so let's see that means these 16 and these 16 another time so once I finish this sequence four times I am going to be repeating that all over and then I'm going to bind off regularly after I knit and purl I bind off regularly but I'll see you when I get there so let's sum up I did rows 1 2 3 and 4 four times that's 1 2 3 4 times and then I did rows 5 6 7 and 8 also four times that's one time two times three times four times and then I repeated this whole thing again. So I have rows, and that means four times four, and then four times four. So that's what I have. And also, now I'm at the end, and I did two more rows, one of knit and one of pearl and then I did my regular bind off so let's show you that so I'm binding off normally after my two rows one of knit one of pearl and I am going to be cutting my yarn and sewing it on the sides and out at the bottom okay let's cut this I always leave long tails because like that I can sew with that yarn if I need to. So pass that one through and there we go. Now I'm going to put the two parts together and sew it and let's do that. I already sewed one side and I'll show you how it looks like. See. 
it's right there so let me show you it's right there you see you should not have to see the the seam at all so it's right in here so let's do the other side we pick up the yarn we have And we're going to go and find that first loop on the other side. So it's right in here. And then we come back to where we left off. And we go skip that long strand and go into the middle of the knot seam between those two strands. So we have a video on how to sew the sides. Now, of course, this is a, an intricate stitch, so you have to be very careful and take your time. We're not in a hurry, so it comes out nice. I always take my time when I sew things because it's the way you finish your projects counts very, very much so from side to side go in and out on one side and in and out on the other side and that's the way I do it of course there are many methods to sewing so choose the one that you feel more comfortable with and I will see you when I finish this side also. Okay, so the two sides are sewn and you see the bottom of the bag has these scallops and I, I really like them. So I decided to, let me get this from the beginning, I decided to make a single crochet picking up the one side and the other only the loops of each side and single crochet them so we'll pick up this loop and the one from behind make sure you pick up the two okay and single crochet Thing. and see this is going to look very cute and uh, I don't know yet if I'm going to leave this part in the bag like not completely at the edge so I will decide that when the time comes That sometimes that's what happens when you're designing stuff. You decide, okay, you see how pretty that looks? So I'm going to continue doing that all the way at the bottom. And I'll come back. Okay, so I single crocheted around the scalp here. And I like it and so I'm going to be doing several rows of single crochet at the top and this is what we're going to be doing so let me get this a little bit closer so I have my yarn and I'll make a small knot there and start single crocheting on each one of these stitches so, okay. So, single crochet, pick up the two parts of the loop. And I, the tail, I usually put it together with the 
with a single crochet so like that it disappears so single crochet on each one and I'll make several rows of it and I'll see you when I do that Okay, so I did three rows of single crochet on the top of the bag and now I want to make a row of backwards single crochet so chain one and go on that space in the back and single crochet again go to that space in so you're going backwards so pull and single crochet pull and single crochet pull single crochet and this makes it look very cute very nicely finished let me show you after I make a few because it really looks nice so I'll go back pull single crochet, pick up, and single crochet, see how that night looks so nice. So I'm going to do the whole row with that and I'll come back. What I want to do now is that I want to cover my bag with plastic wrap because I don't want it to get wet. So let's see I think this is going to be enough. And I'll just cover the sides. I have the zipper open because I want to pin the bag down. So there we have it. This is this is good. This is okay. All right. And now I want to place my bag inside this because I want to block the bag to the size of the lining of the lining bag. So there we go. And I want to make sure that I have some pins here. Thank you, Knit Crate, for sending them. And I want to pin this bag a little bit to the top so that it stays in place. There we go. And I'll put another one here just in case. So just pin it where you want your bag to stay and we're going to be wetting this bag okay I'll do a couple on the other side and we're ready there we go okay so now let's wet this Okay, so let's do this. I have water in a spray bottle and I'm spraying this. It doesn't have to be too wet. As long as it's humid enough for the stitches to fall in place. So wet it on one side and on the other. And then we're going to be blocking a few bumps here and there okay so now what you want to do is pat it down see all these little bumps so it doesn't have to be too wet just pat it down the other side too make this fall in place something here see 
see a little bit here in the little curves. All right. So now I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to be sewing the top, taking the plastic off and sewing the top to the edge of the bag. So this project took about 250 yards. I have this left over from the skein that measures 351 so you have an idea so what I did is that I took a cord and you can use chain if you wish you can use anything you wish so attach it to the sides of the bag right in there you can attach it to this one or this I'm going to make a few stitches on this side anyway so that it stays in place. So attach your cord. What I'm doing now is sewing the netting part to the bag. So I'm almost at the edge. Let me show you where. So right in there. And it comes out like on top of the first single crochet that I made on the back like right there and I skip one and bring it back and that's where I want it just go up and down and it really doesn't have to be all that perfect because it's not going to show so up and down and then of course for example here when I did the edge I picked up also the cord so like that it can be nicely attached so I'm going to do that same thing on the other side and let me show you how the zipper opens and closes freely see no problem and that's it I'm going to sew all around and I'll take some pictures and thank you very much for watching us and Share us with your friends and like our page, subscribe, and enjoy the knitting. Thank you.